So we've um, got... she's, she's probably going to go okay. Yeah. She's pretty responsive. She's only young, but um, yeah, she, she had a couple of hissy fits there, meaning she's used to getting her own way and just escalating her response to, you know, getting out of or getting what she wants. Um, which is why, you know, whoever it was that adopted her obviously didn't push her or didn't work her to a point where she said, okay, you're the boss. You know, I'd just taken her for two walks up the driveway and already she's behaving without really doing any training, just walking her and saying, come on, we're walking. Yeah. And uh, they, they feed on drive. They want, they want to work. So as soon as they figure out what the task is or... You know, they figure out the game. They they do very very well. They're extremely high performing dogs. You can, I gotta say, like you just look at her and you can see that oh. she just exudes. You know, yeah. please train me. Give me a job. <laughs> Give me. A so job. just for everyone at home, this is Abra. This is Abra, who is a Dutch Shepherd cross Belgium Malinois. And she's four months old. Four months old, yeah. So and these guys are real serious dogs. These guys are what a lot of military and police use for their uh, bite work because of their eagerness to learn, their eagerness to, to get involved in anything. They are pretty fearless and they are super athletic. I don't know if anyone's seen any stuff, but they'll jump through car windows. And all your mates have got yeah, these they, guys. They've all got the Belgian Malinois. And, yeah. Um, yeah, they had them out in the military. Uh, we had a bit to do with them. Um, yeah, but they've, they're all, uh, all my mates nicknamed them land sharks. That's very good reason for that. Yeah, so for a bunch of uh, Special Forces guys to call them land sharks, yeah. they're pretty serious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Man, uh, land sharks or malligators? Malligators, yeah. But she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. I'd love to see what she could do. Oh, yeah. Um, so she's sadly um, landed herself back at the shelter. Um, not, not her own fault at all. It sounds... She's four months old. <laughs> There's... Um, not that it's not that it's ever the dog's fault, yeah. you know, goodness. But um, we're talk, but we're talking about a very serious breed. We're talking about a dog that if you don't stimulate them, if you don't give them a job, if you don't um, satisfy their need for to to work or to solve problems, they'll create their own problems to fix. Mm. You know, as a as a twelve to eighteen month old uh, untrained, unstimulated Belgian Malinois, you'll come home. And there'll be a 12 foot deep hole in your backyard because yeah. they just wanted to work. So, for her to be um, like surrendered at four months old, there's no way they could have gone into adolescence. Oh, you know, no like way. we haven't even hit the hard part no, yet. No, she, so. she's, just, she's just reacted a couple of times that they freaked out. At. Mm, That's all it is. Yeah. She, she did a little bit to me on the lead there, but. You know, I yeah. knew what I was waiting for. So she just needs a like a, a um an experienced, need a very owner, experienced owner, someone who, who is not going to deviate yep. from the rules. Now, just for everyone at home, that was the criteria that yeah. Dee, you know, she was must, really adamant these dogs that before. they must have have owned um you yeah. know suppose, this breed before. they grew up with these dogs, but does not sound truthful, does it? No. No, they, you know. The only way that I can think that's truthful is, you know, their dad had one and it was... They didn't have much to do with... No, it was old by the time they came around and it was well trained and there was no problem. Yeah. You know? But, you know, you don't grow up with this breed and then not know that they're going to turn around and <laughs> have a go at you if you don't train it properly. <laughs> D and... Um and her staff are going to exercise uh, the other dogs that are here today from the shelter in the playground. And we were going to try to get Abra with our pack, give yeah. us some socialization. Yeah, let's take it through and see where yeah. we go. We've got a couple of dogs waiting on the other side there. We'll see how she handles those. Goes with so those, yep. Yeah. Just need to keep her on lead and see what, what kind of response we get. Come on, darling.
Go up, next, next, go get next, next, go get next, go next, go get next, go get, go get. Come on, go get. She's a little bit intimidated. She is very nervous, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Good boy, go. Rover. Good boy, Rover boy. Good boy. Hello, Chanky boy. Good girl, darling. Oh, she's, she's very little nervous. Little she just right. wet herself. You're all right. It's all right, Angel. You're okay. Okay, come on. Poor little thing. So just on that, this is this is one of those crucial times where um, too much rain. I know, it's okay. It's okay. Too much reassurance is going to have the opposite effect. Mm -hmm. So give her a little pat, reassure her, yep, you're okay. But then let her stand her own, uh, on her own two feet here, so to speak. You don't want to just keep reassuring and patting her because then she's going to think that her nervous energy that she's feeling is the right thing to feel. We don't want her to think that. We just want her to, no. Nope. Oh, yep. We just want her to think, <laughs> Good boy, Chance. We just want her to think that, um, uh, <clears throat> you know, she's not in any danger, but then she's got to work through those nerves and that um, energy before. So that's what I wanted to see. She's sitting here going, okay, I'm by myself, I'm by myself, but I don't like you. And you saw the last snap. Mm. And then straight away I corrected that um, just to let her say, no, no, that's not one of your options. But I don't want to modi cuddle her and just sit there and go, it's all right, it's all right. And yeah. then her just want to, okay, let's escape this and I'll just sneak into your arms. And then you get the anxiety creep in later on. Mm. Um, so you want to really, I which, swear these, I swear these, which these guys these can get, Look at them. <laughs> Hello, mate. They, they can get a lot of that, yeah. like the anxiety side Absolutely. of it. So. Yeah. Yeah, well, any dog is yeah, prone. You know, yeah. with that kind of interaction, if you do the wrong mm -hmm. thing, you know, and by us sitting there just going, oh, she's nervous. I just want to calm her down. Sure. Do it, but do it for five seconds and then let it go. Yeah. You know, don't do it again. Uh, let her sit here and let her process it and then you'll see the energy start to relax um, and she needs to be confident in the fact that you've got it under control mm. you know there's a difference between following you because of your leadership and then following you because you're gonna save me from the world you know what I mean you don't want that attitude of take me out of here you know let me hide under your wings that's not what we're doing here mm -hmm. we're, we're walking through together but trust that I've got it under control Okay, come on. Let's Something go. definitely going on with the bottom and tail. Good girl. Good girl. You're right. Oh, you hear all those doggies? <laughs> you hear all those doggies? Relax. Just relax. They're naturally really mouthy, these guys. That's what they've been bred for. Good behaviour from you, Rover, today, mate. Isn't it? Look how relaxed he is. He's like, yep, welcome to my farm. <laughs> this, is a, this is a pug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the, the hell scariest are you? of them all. <laughs> she's, not, she's fearless, too. You're right. You're right. So, again, see that? She sees a dog she hasn't met before. She comes running up to me. Gave her a quick little, yep, you're okay. And then let her deal with it. Yeah. Good girl, darling. Good girl. You're right. Good girl. It's okay. Okay, come on. Pugs. Hello. Pugs can actually put a lot of dogs off. Yeah, they do. Like boxes. Their nose. Yeah, they're right in your face. Yeah. And if they're anything like her, they're fearless. <laughs> they call you land shark, do they? <laughs> well, I'm bread life. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Can you hear the puppies? Can you hear the puppies? Can you hear the puppies? So this kind of behaviour I want to encourage. The excitement. The alert. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Keep that going. Good girl. Yeah, keep that going.
good. Yeah. So that was good. She started showing excitement up here. Barney, Barney. Got it out. Hello. She started showing excitement up this way. Hello. But I knew she would lose her nerve here. So I kept that excitement going and got her all the way to here before she started to go, oh, big dog, rather than getting into a tug of war back there. Should we go this way? Just from forcing her to do that walk with me, all I've done is create a relationship where she trusts me. She can see I've got it under control and it's all they want. They want someone to follow. They want someone who they feel is in control. Now look at how much she's wanting from me in this environment now. You know, she's really looking to me. What do we do now? What do we do here? So, um... Oh, I didn't have my camera out, so no one would have seen the walk on the driveway. Oh, okay. So we can talk about that when we get out of this situation where yeah. there's all the barking. Yeah, you're not allowed to use those teeth that you're bred to use. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. You're right. You're right. She's beautiful. Lovely dog. Like, look at her. Lovely dog. Nope. Oh. <laughs> so get out from my private parts. No elbow biting for you. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Like a rover. Yeah, rover's like, been there before. <laughs> You'll learn, young <laughs> chap. <laughs> <laughs> young lass, sorry. Young lass, yeah. Rightio, yeah. well, what I might do then, I might walk through that gate. I'll leave that gate open. Yep. And... Hello, mate. Hello. Certainly got sharp nails. Mm. Okay, I'll, uh, am I opening the gate? Uh, yeah, I was just going to let all the dogs run past. Yep. Just make sure we've got Maggie and Miss Violet. Yep, Maggie and Miss Violet. Snap at? Oh, everybody. Good boy, Roscoe. Good girl. Like, if she doesn't get any training or socialization. <laughs> I'm saying, this is what's wrong with people getting these dogs. Like, it's just. Oh, no, I know. Like, you can see. Like, how's it going to work? Do you want a collar? Uh, yep, probably. I'll just run back and get a collar. Yep. And then um, another lead. Yep. Okay, <laughs> just hold back here. You can stay there. Good girl. Well done. Well done. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl, darling. It's all right. Uh, I just... Uh, uh. Good girl. Well done. Good job. Good girl. So that was... Hello. Yeah, good job. That was... Nope. That was for, you know, going to react and then not reacting. 
Good. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well done because she's been really quick to react to everyone who's coming. So those tiny little moments are really important Ooh, when you've yeah. got a dog like this. Because she's decision making. She's yep. sitting here trying to figure out how do I deal with this. And if you don't get rid of those little instant moments of I'm going to choose my teeth, then it escalates really bad because the last thing you want a dog this young and with this breed and characteristic to understand is these teeth are a lot more powerful and a lot more valuable than what she understands right now. If she knows the full potential of her own teeth, try to tell her to forget it. And you can see they, they are minuscule at oh. the moment. They're, they're these teeny weeny right. little baby teeth. But that's why when you train but they're gonna these be guys, enormous. Yeah, yeah, if you train these guys to use their teeth, it's like this. It's, I'll tell you what it's like. It's like tra you got professional fighters, like, no! Professional boxers, for example, they've trained all their life to throw hands. All of a sudden, you say, you're not allowed to throw hands anymore and you watch what happens if they get in a fight. There's, it's impossible, they're gonna, they're gonna throw hands they're the way that they've been trained to do it. So these guys, it's very important not to let them learn that skill if they're not a working dog. You know, if that's not what they're doing. There's something doing. under there. You know, it could just be a frog, but... Likely a lizard. Rover! Come on, buddy, good boy. Okay, mate, come on. Right, I just want a, a thin collar. Uh, maybe. So no, one. sorry. Oh goodness, that's all there was. One of the new ones in the bucket. The new ones from the bucket. Yeah, like the ones that Lily's wearing. Oh, they're inside. Yeah. None of these are gonna fit her. She's tiny. Mm. I'll take. Where's cutie pies? Yeah. I'll take Joey's. Okay, yeah. Joey! Good there's dude. definitely something in there. Rusko! Uh, I think there's something like proper in there, you know? Like a rat? Yeah. What about a young one for you, darling? What about a young one for you? Oh, you look amazing in yellow. So we've just got Nova on the other side of the gate. Nova's headed yeah. off to hang out with Dylan, but um, it's probably best that she doesn't come in, maybe. As, as always, with the... Um, yeah, just explain it, like, because yeah, obviously I saw, I saw her in the background and I was like, oh, it's best that Nova probably sits this out. Yeah. But let's just explain to everyone why that is a good idea. Yeah, so can I grab another lead now? Yeah. The Stylish Hound one. Get rid of all these. I might just take this one with me because it is the shelter's one, just in case we end up doing the full loop back yeah, to them. So she's done a few poos but has not crouched once. It's kind of mm. just started coming out and then she's, I think. Could be nerves. Stress. Yeah. Here, Roscoe. <laughs> yeah, it's her collar. Okay, come on. Nova, yep. being, a, being a holiday dog, uh, there's no reason to expose her to the unknown. Like our dogs we use as a tool to help dogs like this, but as you can see, she tried to bite half of them already. Yep. So there's no point trying to, or, or letting Nova be involved in this, because why, why put her at risk? Yep. So it's the same with all the holiday dogs. Nope. Just a cheeky little oh, I did see nip that. on the leg on the way past. <laughs> you know, like this is completely unpredictable. Like you don't want to expose any dogs that aren't um, one capable of handling it without retaliating. Well that one two, was that one was diesel. So that was good. Yeah. Um 
but yeah, two, like it could really break out. You don't know how these things are going to go. Like you have a general idea and you have a look, but you saw the difference in behaviour as soon as all the other dogs came around. So you just don't want any mysterious to happen. Um, whereas I can fully control all my dogs, maybe except for this one because she can't hear me. <laughs> well, but none of them. She still knows the routine and the pro and the program and, this, and the rules. And you also know, from them. another angle, um, Miss Violet included in this. They're non-reactive. But that's, that's what I was going to say. She yeah. knows the rules. That's she, what, knows, yep. she knows the, um, what she can and can't do. So when a dog reacts to it like that, they all shy away and look at me and go, hey, did you see this? Yeah. You know, and they wait for me to react. Good girl. Very now, this would be great working, though. Hello. <laughs> She's going to cover in little marks already. Everywhere. Hey. She'd be great at bite mm, work or something, you know. Yeah. Like, well, if she was fully trained. That's what I mean. She'd be a great working dog. Good boy, Rover. Come on, Abra. Hello. Hello. I have to say, from my own personal observation, she's probably, I haven't seen a dog check in with you more than her. That's because I just... Yeah, so, ex her. and explain that though, because I, just for everyone at home, I, my camera, my one of my phone cameras has gone up to Queensland to Ben and the other one's um, not working at the moment. So I've got Luke's one, so I didn't have it to film the driveway exercise yeah. but could you just explain what you did before we even introduced Abra? Yeah so I, I didn't even know who she was I came down on the motorbike and they had this dog on lead and I came around the corner recognized she was a very cute looking puppy and just said hello darling and you could see the fear uh, she just shrunk back but I could also see the confidence so she's very confident in her ability, but fearful at the same time. So what I got there was instantly, you're not going to let me say hello whilst, um, you're not going to let me say hello to you while someone else has got the lead. So I said, can I have a lead? Ooh, quick, quick, jumping ants here. Let's go quickly. Come on, guys. Come on. So she's literally just jumping up and biting you everywhere everywhere like she tried to bite your bottom no she has been she hangs off the back of my shirt she's biting my hand she's biting my wrist so you just at the moment i'm not doing anything about it yeah you can see though why someone who isn't expecting this who hasn't had any experience because i just want to make it clear because this is where you know d we just heard from d and tani yeah you know they were very explicit that a highly experienced owner needs to come forward for the, this litter of dogs yeah. And this is the reason why, you know, and this is what's happened. She's been surrendered because this is what she does and she's done to, you know, the family's children. Yeah. But you would expect this. Yes. Oh, goodness. You're right. Yeah. You would expect this Good if recovery. you had um, experience with this breed of dog. Yeah, absolutely. So there's three things I want to talk about here. I want to talk about the introduction at the driveway. I want to talk about the biting here and then my objective on this walk and why I'm not doing anything about the bike. Yep. So, uh, on the driveway, I knew that it's, with someone else holding the lead, she's not, I could read her body language, she said she's not gonna engage with me and, and with Bruce. So I said, oh, can I please have the lead? 
as soon as I got the lead and she saw I had it, she chucked a big dummy spit. She was like a marlin on a fishing tour, jumping around, flicking her head, just throwing a big tanny. Um, <clears throat> so I just started walking with her and she threw all sorts of stuff at me. She was trying to jump up and bite me. She was trying to bite the lead, uh, but they weren't playful like what she's doing now. What she's doing now is more out of nervous energy and affection versus fear and, fly, and fight. Um, <clears throat> so once I started working her and I, uh, uh, good girl, well done, good girl. Once I started working her and she could see I was in control, she started responding to me, she started looking up at me, I started showing her love and affection. Uh, she started to really respond to me and go, finally, I can, I can talk to you, you know, and all of a sudden it, it, she just gelled. And you can see what she's doing now, like you said before, you haven't seen a dog check in so often. And it's all of a sudden because I'm her friend now. All of a sudden she goes, okay, you're with me, I can trust you. I'm nervous in this area, and so she keeps looking at me. What do we do? What do we do now? What do we do now? You know, for someone like Nevaeh, to get to this point took me five months, you know, before Nevaeh started really checking in and reading what do we do now and, and feeding off my direction and energy. She would do what I asked for obedience, but, you know, this is, this is something that, as a working dog, as a dog of her intelligence, that's why they're so good because they are so easy to train if you know what you're dealing with. As far as training her versus Labrador, Labrador is a million times easier. What we're talking about why she's more difficult is because of her drive and her desire to use her mouth. They are just full on, I wanna bite everything, I wanna tear <laughs> things to pieces. If there's fluff inside it, I'm gonna get it all out and then I'm gonna rip it in two again. You know, there's just, Two million. Well, if I, <laughs> what I meant was, if I pull out a thousand pieces, I'm going to yeah. rip each thousand piece <laughs> in two, so then there's two thousand pieces. So they're they're just really intense dogs. However, with the right training, they are highly. They're highly just incredible dogs. Performing, they yeah. are just unbelievable. Yeah. So when we before we got into the rescue game, before we started rescuing dogs, when we still had the daycare. Um, and when we still had Wallace and Charlie, and we started to think about, you know, what will we do once Wally and Charlie move on? And one of these guys was first on my list because we worked with them in the, in the military. All my mates had them. I was seeing what they were getting, uh, what they were doing with them. You know, I'm very familiar with them. So and so I was, I was like, um, you know, if one comes up, we should get one of these guys. But they never come up. You know, and, yeah, and, and also I think on that, it's interesting to note, it is a, I do feel like it's a dog of choice for trainers. Absolutely. So, um, but not all trainers, but I think it's, it's a dog of choice because of how high performing they can be. Oh, they are such a show off, um, uh, you know, piece, like in like, terms of your yeah, work. Absolutely. So you look at, you look at all the dogs we've got, they all perform highly. They all do what I want them to do, but you can compare it's a difference between Joey and cutie pie cutie pie wants to work but she runs out of puff and she ends up having to go and sit down whereas Joey will continue to run for the next five hours you know nope Joey wants to run and just keep running whereas this this girl Abra she she will run if that's what you wanted to do but if you want her to sit there and look at a ball for an hour and not touch it, she'll sit there and stare at that ball for an hour because yeah. she understands that that's the job. That's the job, yeah. Um, you know, her desire is to work. It's not for a certain thing. Whereas Joey just wants to run. She wants to herd, she wants to chase. That's what they're bred for. They, wanna, they will run and chase sheep or cattle all day. And that's what she does best. For these guys, they will bite on command, they will retreat on command, they will drop on command, and in any situation, you know, bombs going off, gunfire, yeah. they will just hold and go, this is my job, I'm gonna do this to the end. That's why they're so desirable, because of their desire to work. They wanna work, and it doesn't matter what it is, you teach them to do it. Naturally, you know, they've been bred for, like, if, again, I'll give an example of the Labrador or Golden Retriever, they're bred for temperament. These guys are bred for their willingness to bite and bite anything, anything on command. You tell them to bite, they'll bite it. You know, as you can see, what's she doing for she me the whole the time? She is the perfect specimen <laughs> of her breed. She, she is like, a good you look example. at her. She's, she's a good like, example. That's what I'm there's, here for. There's no question about it. Um, they're very, 
they're a very uh, high recommended choice for security work, for um, you know that kind of stuff. But these are one of those breeds that I would highly recommend you do not get if you are not um, a very experienced dog owner. And when I say very experienced, I don't mean you had nine golden retrievers because you will not know what you're getting yourself into. I'm talking about difficult dogs that have a high work drive and are very intelligent. And you know, if you don't give them what they need, they will become very oh, destructive. You might need to just get off the road. Yeah, okay. Come on guys, this way. Don't chop. This way guys. Come on! Diesel! Yeah. yeah, just take it down there. Good dog. Shadow. Good girl, darling. Diesel. Good girl. Okay, so in the driveway, she's very fearful. You know, she was very untrusting. I did a little bit of work with her, showed her that I'm not going to hurt her, but also showed her that I'm not going to let her do what she usually does and get away with it, which was turn on me, turn on the lead, and then she gets away with it and gets to do whatever she wants. So, you know, we worked through that and then all of a sudden she started respecting me and started listening to me. And I could see that once we had that connection, she just was like, yeah, cool. I can talk to you, I trust you. And then we started walking through. That's when you saw us go through the gate and all those other dogs and she started to show nervousness and, and come between my legs. Give her a quick reassurance, but then let her stand on her own two feet and let her deal with it. When she chooses the wrong response, I'm giving her a quick check on the lead and saying no, don't don't use your teeth. It, it, it's fear aggressive. And then um, and then with uh, <coughs> what we're doing up here, wanted to talk about what the objective here for me first is, and that's to build her confidence around the other dog. So I don't want to keep correcting her for biting me when it's naughty however like it's a naughty behavior however it's a natural behavior for her she hasn't been taught not to do it yet so there's no point opening up that can of worms while we're still dealing with a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of nervousness i wanted to get comfortable but then when i'm saying to her no don't do that to me now she's not added with the fact that now the person i trust is against me along with all these other dogs so that's what i'm trying to avoid that's why i'm letting her bite me they're not they're not serious bites if they were serious bites then i'd have to do it but it's affection, it's play, it's, uh, you know, I'm glad I'm here with because you. Because of the dog that she is. Because of the dog that she is there, that's right. And, and I so... Can, I can see that when she's biting me, she's only drawing blood because her teeth are so sharp because she's still got a milk They're little... She's not clamping. Yeah. You know, she's not clamping, she's not holding on, she's not head shaking, but a proper bite from a dog like this, she will. We've got some ants, we okay, might need to go. go. Come on, let's go. We'll just go to the grass area and we can continue the conversation. Yeah. Oh, come on, darling. Come on, good girl. Come on, Miss Red. Quick, quick, quick. Let's get out of this ant infested pathway. I mean, poor Miss Red's got bitten, I think. And so did Roscoe. That's good. And Diesel's staying semi close, checking in, so that's a good thing. Uh, I won't be able to hear that if I just get ahead of you, you can tell me what happened. <laughs> None of that. 
So while we were walking along the track and all the dogs were coming back and forth, uh, she was still showing me that she was nervous. Even though her tail was up, she was walking confidently. And she was doing it because she's starting to trust my voice and she's starting to take that guidance between me saying, nice and calmly, it's all right, good girl, to, um, you know, don't, don't do that, that kind of thing. So she was looking forward, all body language pointed towards I'm um, confident, except for the fact that she just had her ears pinned straight back at me going, what do I do now, what do I do now? You know what I mean? But everything else was pointing to, um, you know, I'm confident I've got this. Good boy, Chops, come on, mate. Good boy, being Good girl. Good girl, well done. Yeah, hi. Good girl. I got it on camera. I was looking at the ground myself, personally, but hang on. So was it Fredo walking past? Look at that. So that time she just went up to Fredo and didn't give yeah. him a nip, so you gave her praise. Yeah. She thought she thought better of it. She chose the right response. So I what a lot of people don't think about too much. My dog did nothing. So why praise her? Because I didn't choose the other option. with big teeth and big ears disguised underneath the great white shark. <laughs> I, I don't know. But this is, what, this is the blood we're coming from. Yeah. This is the bloodline we're dealing with. Yeah. Maybe you should just train a bit. to bring down a little one for cutie pie. There was one here, but I know, just taken but now there's only the big ones. I'm, she's a really tough girl and she still gets her drink, but it just makes it a bit more difficult for her. Yeah, I know. She's, a, she's adapted. And if it's down low, I usually tip it over for her so it comes right to the edge and she drinks it.
I was filming that one, yeah. yeah. Hello, shop. Who's this little troublemaker I've got now, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, Miss Red. <laughs> Miss Red doesn't usually get told off very easily. No, she does not. Oh, not that she reacts, you know, but she usually would just hold the ground. Yeah. I think it was more that she got a fright. She was scared, yeah. It, it was, was a startle. Came out of nowhere. Yeah, you better yeah, back off better Lily. respect Lily. <laughs> she good definitely girl. thought better of that good one. Yeah, didn't she? She took one look at Lily and went, Ooh, Oof. I don't want any You look like too. a big mama bear. It's going to tell me what for. There was also Lily 100% recognised the behaviour in her. Yeah, and, look at her. And went up to her in a way that I went up to her, you know. It was just straight like, Step yeah, I see forward. you. I'm coming in. Yeah. You know, and she just went, <laughs> You can drink. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm full. I don't need any more. Good girl, Lil. Good girl, Lily. The well, Lily's naturally got that now that she's lost her anxiety and, and you know, that, she does, that yeah. separation anxiety. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Bye, guys. Back here. Come on. Look at her. Look at her. Good dog. Well done. Good dog. Good dog. Good dog. Well done. Did you see? Uh, yeah. The, when Lily came past, probably didn't. Mm. But Lily came right up and stood next to me, but came this way. And I saw that she saw Lily and went, oh. And then as the Lily's head went past and she got her shoulder, I saw her teeth go. As she's gone past, like, I'm thinking about it. No, don't think about it. Yeah, Lily. I would think about it. Lily will tell you. Lily will tell you right from the beginning. She very naturally does that thing where she comes between your legs and yeah. sits on your feet or puts a paw on your yeah. foot, which I've seen a lot of the military dogs yeah. do. Left, right, centre, spin, all those kind of things where they just want them in different positions. And they've all got, you know, the, the, it looks very effective and looks like impressive, but it has a, it has a purpose. You know, if you're in a gunfight and you're up against the wall but your dog's on the inside, you're going to quickly tell it to go to the other side. I'm leaning on against this wall. If you're backing up and you've got left and right, you don't know which way you're turning, you're going to put them in the middle so they just feed off you. They're, you know, they are very impressive when you see them do it, but it's not just for show. Mm. These dogs are real. They, you know, they, they are being trained to a highly, highly, um, a very high standard of performance and at the drop of a hat with the one command, they will launch out and use every bit of those teeth that they've got. Mm. Uh, and they are always ready. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Ooh, See? Yeah. 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 Uh, um, she's quicker than me with the camera though. Yeah. But again, like, I'm so that was good girl bottom not, Yeah, I'm as saying he good girl away. for not doing anything, but this is what she did to Lily before. She saw the face and went, nah, I'm going to take you on. But then realised, I get you here though. So, so just quickly, um, like <laughs> you've only just met Abra, yeah. But in terms of the training process, eventually down the other en other end of um, you know months and months of training, you correct them on even intention. Uh, you know, I usually, I yeah, I usually go off as soon as I read what decision they've made. I'll correct them on that. Yeah, so they may not even take a step forward, no. but they've just thought, I, yeah. I'm, yeah. yeah. So but I, obviously, I, I you're not going to do that here. No, she's not. She's not at a level where she'll understand that here. Yeah. But it's also me understanding her, and she's a dog that's giving off very little. Good girl. Good girl, darling. She's giving off very little at the moment. 
Um, and so... Yeah, there's no growling. No, there's no growling. There's no body language. There's no hesitation. You know, so she is just basically deciding that looks good, lunge. Um, but again, it is all <laughs> She took just, a step back from Miss yeah, Violet. But it is all just play at this stage. You know, there's no real intent here. This is just her instinct. Mm. This is just her going, yeah, I can get you here, I can get you here. When you, Like I said, when you get the siblings together, when they're all young and they're untrained yet, they are just bang, 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 constant fighting. But play fighting is what they do. Like you would see, um, you know, lion cubs or tiger cubs in the wild, just constantly trying to bite each other's ears off, purely in the uh, getting ready for when it needs to be for real. Play. That was a big Barney Boxer bark. Oh, yeah, it was. <laughs> she took a step back on that one. Maggie doesn't take a backwards foot either, does Maggie, she? Maggie will wipe the floor with her at this point. <laughs> Maggie will just get so offended by it. Oh, goodness. She might hold on to it too, so... <laughs> no! Ooh. Good boy, Roscoe. I'm your collar when you're this close. <laughs> Sit. bit of a um, I don't know when you when you get dogs that are really high performing very effective they do exactly what you want they'll bite on command but they'll stop on command they can live normal lives but when you get a dog that you've trained to bite that you haven't trained properly they end up just being managed by being isolated being kept in cages because they just know that any exposure to other animals or That's people fair, will be it's awful. Yeah. And so it's it's not a good life for these guys if you don't get them to a point where they can handle life. Because at the moment, her, she can't handle this interaction, so she's fighting. Mm. That's, that's something that we need to get her to control. Um, be calm, composure. Uh, be confident in her abilities, but also be confident in the social aspect and reading the other dogs. Good girl. I love her ears. <laughs> I like Joey's ears, but bigger. Mm -hmm. Well, like Chop and Tank have enormous yeah, ears. Yeah, they got big ears, yeah, but they don't stand as tall as this guy. Chop, chop. So what should we do, babe? There, there are plenty of people that are capable of <laughs> oh, yeah. Fredo! Fredo! Good boy, mate. Ah! Fredo, back here. Good boy, mate. Good boy. I don't need you over there going nuts. Good boy, buddy. Um, mm. We can just talk to D. I'm only saying this because of concern. Like, she's, how, like, <laughs> she's not in a great position, is she? You'll have, you'd have to go out in a pillow suit. Beep, <laughs> You'll have to go out in a pillow suit. That'd be funny.
shirts and my shorts. Had a great time. <laughs> I understand, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> you got one too there, D. <laughs> yeah, no, she's... Um, That's from Claws. Just sharp Claws. Yeah, she's got milk teeth too. But she's just playing. Yeah. Um, she started out really fearful and, and nervous, but then uh, quickly became a, a little bit more trusting in me and the relationship we have so that we could go into these guys. When she went into these guys, she, she did get very mouthy. She was um, you know, fear reactive. But she cut it out pretty quick as far as the fear is concerned. Then it turned to uh, confidence and excitement. Then the behaviour got about eight times worse once she lost the fear. So the fear was a toned down version of what she's capable of. Um, so, what's your plan for this girl? Well, what are your thoughts? Well, my plan was to find her a new home, but I'm just sitting there, <laughs> literally thinking, was that collar on her when we came? <laughs> and I was thinking, oh dear God, there's another collar on her. That means she's going nowhere. <laughs> It honestly was not the. That is, that's not it, it was it, Luke? I think they've got their hands full too. Oh no, I didn't put the collar on. I see that there's a collar on. So, um, we. Our concern for her, you you'll see in the video, um, but. Yeah. Anyone, anyone that is, um, at this stage, either got kids or not really sure what they're dealing with as far as the breed's concerned we're gonna come straight back yep. yeah, yeah she, she which is why we were very careful about who absolutely we to, because we yeah. understand the breed oh in the we like know what we're when we were with. walking we said all of that like you know d and the staff have been extremely explicit you know, making sure that they go to the right homes. Yes. Um, we so we all understand that. We did not want this to happen. Yeah. Unfortunately, she's now 16 weeks or four months old. And so okay. she's out of that socialization period. Yes. So it's a pretty, Jelly. it is a problem mm. now. And you'll see in the video how much biting there is. Yeah. Um, I would worry at this point, her meet and greets even um how they would go unless there's somebody who who is just going to walk in and go oh yeah i know what this is and yeah. then they go straight into train like you know yeah. like training mode yeah. lots and lots of training and which is one of the things that we said, <coughs> said every single person that got one of the in that litter yes you need to start training now yeah and if you're not capable of doing it you need to get a trainer in Hundred you know? percent, yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. Thankfully, she's the only one that. Has yeah, come back absolutely. Because we were very particular. We turned down yep. so many people that wanted them just because they were cute. We yep. went, no, you're not the right absolutely. household for that dog. I gotta say, like, I think you must have done an amazing job for only one to be returned. One. Correct. Um, so we were there, and this is somebody that. Um, we we've adopted two before they they've yep. had the breed goodness but you know it just shows that every dog is an individual anyway yeah some are stronger than others yeah, absolutely yeah. yeah we like we haven't met the others so yeah. um she might just be a little bit more um she might be or, a bit more high energy yeah yeah or maybe um they just weren't as experienced as they made out they were um, so we've Nat's got a present for you guys. Oh, wow. I do have to shoot off on the sand. Oh, oh, oh Nat. Thank, yeah, thank you. I've got one too. Oh, wow. I, look at this. <laughs> you, me, and the dog sharing the good times since the day we first met. Oh. And one for your household. Oh, Nat. Don't you think it's fitting? That is us. Yeah, it's definitely fitting. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You thank go. you so much, you Nat. Thank you. I'll give you a hug. Aww, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> really appreciate it. No, no, of course. We love seeing you. Of course, you go. You go. We do feel a little bit concerned about her. That's all. Um, she's a serious dog. And in the shelter, we've had to actually put some signs up that she's fearful and not to enter into her kennel. 
It's just she's only four months old and what she's showing now, yeah. like if somebody doesn't step in and... Um, Get her on the right track. Yeah, <gasps> it's... going to be exactly like their parents. Oof. Yeah, just make sure Diesel's not coming in. So Diesel's just started becoming interested in the dogs and not the birds, but it means that he comes in and nips them. Oh. So Which obviously just... isn't gonna go down though. Well. well well, our dogs are non-reactive, so, but it's more like, it's just, we don't want him to um, hurt them, yeah, you know, so like injure them. Yeah, I was going to say, one person, like yeah. a dog being nipped. Yeah. Yeah, it won't take long before, like, if I they don't do. catch it and interrupt it before they just start defending themselves. Yeah, because yeah. at this point, they're like, oh, dad will sort it out. But if dad yeah. doesn't sort it out multiple times, yeah. then we got to do it ourselves. They'll, they'll, they'll yeah. Sort it out and yeah, it, and absolutely. It's not a lot of the dogs. This dog is like it's going hanging on my ass. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, him off, what are you doing? You can see this. Like totally understandable. And well, we actually, I was talking to Tani this morning. One of the people that actually adopted her siblings, uh, unfortunately, mm. it passed away oh, because it got some sago palm seeds. Oh, jeez. Which is toxic. Yeah, and right. they couldn't save her now they've spent a fortune wow. on cremating her beautiful even trying to get that oh surgery and stuff done beforehand they, but... they, they explored everything yeah. and what the vets told her the outcome was there'd be no quality of life they'd have to strip a whole stomach out oh they my goodness wow they actually understand the well i mean that sounds them. like it could definitely be a great so we're going to give them a opportunity and see whether yeah. or not they'd like to foster her yeah absolutely whether or not that sounds like the perfect scenario yeah. um you know i when you said it my f i was leading to oh gd like because i thought litter mates yes yeah, these two like, uh, uh, of no, all no, the dogs no, 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 <laughs> that, no. that would be the worst possible and scenario so devastated yeah and, they, gee. and the dog was clearly loved that's what she needs she needs somebody that wants to work with them yeah it's absolutely more just now if their heart's going to be able to take it that's right we're yeah. gonna we're gonna make that phone call okay well why don't you do that first yeah, yeah. and then um you you get back to us d yes look regardless of anything if We're, we can if we can sort of organize volunteers we'll get it down for training yep um you just tell us how many days or one day a week or something we'll make it oh happen. well it can be five days like we're whenever you do yeah we yep. um we will just work her um like all day every day through the work week yep. um and We'll put a call yeah, out on our but, page too for our most trusted volunteers and see like if they can rotate by driving her down. Yep. yep. We might even have people that work on the coast that might be happy to drop her in and then pick her up after work on their way back. Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah. So we'll put yes, that something like that. We'll put that yep. on our page. Well you you contact that that lady the for family. the family first and yeah. then maybe we can organise some way of yeah. transporting yep absolutely um, and then we can and take it, it from there case that i'm not exactly sure where they were but if they're maybe down this way they might just bring her for training and, mm. and stuff yeah yeah they you know they had such heartache and just seeing what they've sent I us i think they were because they went to green cross instead of <laughs> they might be down this way yeah right okay i think like maybe wyoming or something like that yep you know what that's sounding familiar mm. Yeah, okay. Well, let's well, get, get them it could all work into out. Mm. Yeah. Got some cakes for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't forget the bread. Oh. That I brought you the bread which is just as soft as this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, here, I'll give you this. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, good boy. I remember looking thinking, I didn't put that colour on it. <laughs> <laughs> it just kept coming off the, yeah, the blue so lead. But we're here to help Dee if you need us for, oh, for Abra. Yeah. For a dog like her, it's important we get her on the right track. Yeah. And that she doesn't end up back in another pound. Yeah. Mm. She's good that she's come back to our Absolutely. Pound. Yep, yep. Definitely. What have you Are got, Dee? Are they usually wild when the cats come in in those situations? Sometimes. You, a lot of the you ready? Sometimes they're just scared because they haven't, because there's so many cats at the yeah. house. He really they likes human food. Yeah. Roscoe. <laughs> Not a fan of dog food. Just likes human food, don't you, bud? Yeah. Alrighty. Wow, look at that. So, an assortment. So, we've got yeah. the cream puffs. Are they the same as the ones before? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Had them made. Yeah. We've got pink lemon chocolate lemon oh, goodness, caramel me. tart, wow. some bread, and a French vanilla slice, which is the first one that you shared with Luke. Aww, that's lovely. Thank you, Dee. I'm gonna go for, for one of these. Yeah, they're amazing. Those yeah, cream puffs. So I feel like I can't say no to that. No, nope, go for it. I'm gonna.
Violet. I'm gonna I'll, I'll wake her up. Hello, Angel, come on. Let's go. 